Jake Ludington here at HP Discover, and I'm here with Patrick Eiton Beekler. And something that's kind of on my mind is how is this all this stuff about cloud and big data going to impact the way that IT teams function, kind of the roles that they play inside the organization? Is it, is it going to cause a change? Absolutely, and I would actually say big change. Uh, so we just did a survey with a number of CIOs. It's anecdotal, so it's not uh, officially statistical, statistically valid. Uh, but we basically asked them, when you look at your cloud deployments, what percentage of your IT, of your applications, will be in the public cloud, in a managed cloud, in a private cloud, and what will remain in traditional IT? And the interesting thing was, uh, private cloud on-site, on-premise, actually won out at close to 40%. And the other three were roughly 20, 20, 20, 20. Uh, so 20% in public cloud, 20% uh, in the managed cloud, and 20% of the applications would remain in traditional IT because you had either just upgraded or they are so unique or they are legacy applications that would not migrate to cloud. Now when you look at an environment like that, the traditional IT skills that the team currently has then applies to 20% of the IT applications. The other 80% require different skills. It requires different skills for somebody to work with a managed service provider for certain applications. Different skills to integrate a public service from a public cloud uh, into the environment and different skills to set up a private cloud in-house with a service catalog that automatically provisions the applications and again creates that portal for all the users to request the services. Uh, now again, from an Expert One perspective, surprise, surprise, I work with Expert One at HP, uh, learning and certification. Uh, we provide those skills to individuals to move from a siloed server storage networking application software, whatever the skill may be, uh, to a cloud and big data skill set uh, where they can actually manage those environments. So that kind of allows them to, uh, to move from just being great at, uh, at server administration or, or network administration to possibly being also great at, at cloud deployments of various sorts. Exactly right. It, it advances their career. Uh, and we mentioned earlier from an organizational perspective, obviously right now you may have your server admin team, your storage admin team, your network admin team. In the future, you may have your managed cloud team, you may have your private cloud team. Again, the organizational structure will change and the skills within the teams uh, in that organization will change. And we were uh, talking off camera before we started this interview about a big data project that I think is, is just fascinating in terms, and, and, it, and it fits right in with us being in Las Vegas. Exactly. Uh, so I heard a story uh, that one of the casinos in Las Vegas uh, implemented a big data project, uh, all HP. They used a cloud system, uh, they used Hadoop, uh, they basically used technology that's available today to analyze the gambling habits of the people uh, checking into their hotel. So then they determined that there was a certain demographic of male that spent a lot of money at the gambling table. Then they correlated that, that those individuals at check-in checked in with their wives and they bought a spa pass at that time. So what they figured out is while the wife goes to the spa, the men go downstairs and gamble away uh, their life savings. It uh, worked extremely well. So what the hotel that, or the casino then decided when that particular demographic checked into the hotel, they would give away a free spa pass. So they made sure the woman would make it to the spa so the man could spend the money. And with that, that single big data and analytics project, they paid for the entire implementation. So any project they do now with that implementation is free, uh, is on top, is gravy, is ROI beyond what they expected. And so that would be a case of, of where possibly the existing IT team may not be um, the, the, the right team, or maybe they are the right team, but they're not, they don't have the right skill set to implement a project like that, even if, if somebody higher up comes and says, hey, you know what, I think, I think we might have a correlation of something, let's, exactly. let's act on it. Exactly. Uh, it's a combination of things at the technical level. Uh, right now, there are a few people out there that have the skills to implement the Hadoop cluster to actually be able to leverage that technology to put the analytics in place. So there's technical skills needed, and again, it would be an advancement in a career for an existing admin to learn those skills and actually move up the chain and make themselves more valuable. Uh, the other piece is obviously from a conceptual perspective, what are the kinds of big data projects that an, an organization can run yeah, wouldn't it be great if IT could be proactive and go to the business and say, we have IT-enabled innovation, we have this capability now, why don't you use that 
capability to analyze A, B, and C and make IT more valuable to the business. So how do you get people to, to take action and, and kind of change um, their, their thinking around their, the roles that they need to play within the IT organization? Right. Um, the best thing is you know, to obviously learn more outside your area of expertise. Um, Expert One from HP offers both the training as well as the certifications to branch out uh, beyond the comfort zone. Uh, and the first thing to do is to go to myexpertone.com uh, to actually sign up put in your interests. There's a long list of things like big data, cloud, convergence, but other things as well where somebody can put in their interests and then it actually spits out what's the next training that would be of interest to you and potentially then what's a certification that makes sense. Uh, we actually here at Discover uh, in our Expert One Lounge, uh, we surveyed all the certified professionals and asked them uh, what kind of things they got out of the certification or uh, we published those HP press books where they can actually read up on the knowledge. And one of the things they said is, it, brought up ideas or uh, created ideas in their minds that they didn't think of. They would have known about it, but it just gave them a best practice here, a best practice there, an idea out of the box that they didn't think of, and that's the idea. You, you study, you learn, um, you get the skills, and you add more value to the organization. And everybody wants to add more value, I think. So thank you, Patrick. Thanks, Jake.